so the cosine square is now the same as the sine square. Yeah, so it should be the same. Hmm? Should be the same. Should be the same? Yeah. No, I mean they did uh, number nine about sine. Yeah. And the answer for number nine is pi squared. No, it's not half time. Half no, number nine is a little. Number nine is zero to two pi. Look at number nine. It's zero to two pi. Yeah. So the answer is pi squared. Yeah. So ten is also ten squared. Pi squared. Yeah. Pi squared. Yeah. Should be. Uh, I used two pi before, but I the last I used pi. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can I have the book back? We look at the next part. Okay. So, what's wrong? Um, I didn't get the answer. <laughs> ah, you can do it at home. I have some. Again, circle. One minus sine square. That's why I was circled. Right. Let's continue. So next topic. Proper partial fractions. Now, first firstly I hope you all know this word. What's a fraction? It's uh, yeah. make them subtract. Yeah, but in maths, uh, no, that's factor. Fraction is like this, what? like p over q. Oh, ratio. Same thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, what does proper mean? So proper means the top is smaller and this one is bigger. So for example, like two over three is proper. Three over two is improper. Okay, and partial here means you have two or more fractions. So, the examples we'll have a look at, you know, be something like 2 over x squared plus 2x plus 1, whatever, or uh, like uh, 3x minus 1 over x squared plus x plus 1, whatever. You notice that on the top you have no x, and on the bottom you have x squared, and here you have x, and here you have x squared. So that makes them proper. And they're also fractions. But they're not partial, which is what we'll learn how to do. So let's have a look at some, some work here. So, um, to begin, to warm up, uh, let's all add these two together. So what do we get here? Well, you multiply these, Okay, and then it's that times that plus that times that. So on the top we have three plus two x, right? And on the bottom we have x squared plus three x in total plus one. Yeah, uh, three, two. So my question is, if I have 3 plus 2x over x squared plus 3x plus 2, how can we go back to writing it like this? That's what we want to learn today. This way is easy, but this way is hard. It's hard to go backwards here. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. So I'm going to show you 
three ways to do it. Three ways. Okay? So we'll take uh, method 1. 2x plus 3 over x squared plus 3x plus 2. Okay, so you need to write this down. This is our first example. So, what you do first with these is you factorize. So first you change this into 2x plus 3 over x plus 2, x plus 1. Okay? Then what you do is you say, well, maybe it was supposed to be like this, x plus 2 and x plus 1. Because you have x plus 2 multiply x plus 1. Mm. But you don't know what goes here, do you? So we'll just say it's A. And you don't know what goes here, so you just say it's B. Okay? Now, this equal is not really an equal now. It's more like this. Have you seen this before? Three lines. Oh. No. no. Okay, let me explain. So if I said to you, x plus x equals 2, so x equals 1. Yeah? Now, if I said to you, x plus x equals 2x, so x equals? X. Yeah, you don't know. Could be anything, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Right? So the difference here is this one is not equal. We say it's equivalent. This is true. This is true. But it can't tell us the x. Mm. This one is true. But it can tell us the x. So we use this here when we can find x and when we can't find x. So, if you look here, if this is equal to this, can I find x? No. Because it's like if I just said, I don't know, if I said 2 over x equals something over x plus something over x, can you find x? No, you can't find x. You can't. Right? So, it's called um, an uh, equivalence, identity. So, what we do next is we multiply by x plus 2, x plus 1. x plus 2, x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 1. Okay? So those two guys cancel those two. Yeah? x plus 2 cancels x plus 2. And x plus 1 cancels x plus 1. So you're left with 2x plus 3 equivalent a x plus 1 plus b x plus 2. Okay, so then next we say 2x plus 3 should be the same as ax plus a plus bx plus 2b. 2x plus 3 should be the same as a plus bx plus a plus 2b. So, if these two are supposed to be the same, if I said to you a plus bx equals mx plus c, then you everybody would say, well, m is the same as b, and a is the same as c. Okay? So here you can say, well, a plus b must be the same as what? Two. Two. And a plus 2b should be the same as 3. Okay, now, if you minus here, B you get b equals 1. And then that means a equals 1. So we found a and b. Okay, that's one way to do it. You can write that down. Zoom out. There's nothing really extra, Khalifa. That's everything on the screen.
Got that? Yeah? Okay. So, I said there's three ways to do it. Let's look at the next way to do it. Um, so, the next way, I'll just call it method 2. We'll take the same question. 2x plus 3 over x squared plus 3x plus 2. Okay. So what you do, you do the same thing. You say this is 2x plus 3 over x plus 2, x plus 1. And again, you say that's a over x plus 2 plus b over x plus 1. Okay? Mm. And again, you multiply. So you get 2x plus 3 equals a x plus 1 plus b x plus 2. Now, here's the next trick. Uh, yeah? Multiply. The same as last time, by the two brackets. Oh. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Is it okay? So, suppose I tell you x plus x is the same as 2x. Okay? Well, then this is true for any x. So, for example, if you say let x equals 1, then you have 1 plus 1 equals 2. Or if x equals 2, you get 2 plus 2 equals 4. Okay? Now, if I said to you x plus x equals 2, is that true for any x? No, it's not. So if I said to you x equals 3, you have 3 plus 3 equals 2. This is obviously wrong. Okay. So what's nice about this is you can use any x. So then it should be true uh, if x is equal to minus 2. It should be true. So let's put in minus 2. We'll get minus 4 plus 3. Yeah? Equals minus a plus 0. So then you get a is equal to 1. It should also be true if you use x equals minus 1. So then you have minus 2 plus 3 equals b. Because this is gone. So then you get b is equal to 1. Oh, so that's the second way to do it. Uh, yeah, it is. it is. Okay, yeah, yeah. So now to show you the last way to do it. Method tray. Is E D or O D? O D, sorry. <laughs> e D, no, sorry, O D. Um, we'll use the same question. Two X plus tray. I'm getting tired now, huh? 2x plus 3 over uh, x squared plus, what is it? 3x. 3x plus 2, yeah? Okay. So again, you change this into 2x plus 3 over x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals uh, space. Oh, sorry. What, look what I did. Okay. No, we're good. Right, what you do is you factorise. So this is x plus 2x plus 1 over 2x plus 3. 
And then you say this is equal to the something over x plus 2 plus something over x plus 1. Yeah? Now this method is called the cover-up method. Watch this. If you want this number, okay, what value of x can you not use? You can't use minus 2. So what you do, yeah, you, you cover this up, and you cover this up, and then you use x equals minus 2. So 2 times minus 2 plus 3 over minus 2 plus 1, what is that going to be? That would be 1. Okay? So you get here 1. Now, you want this one here, yeah? Again, you cover this up. You cover this up. And then you use x equals minus 1. Yeah? So that's 2 times minus 1 plus 3 over uh, minus 1 plus 2. What do you get here? You get one. Very interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. Please note, note, this uh, does not always work. Now I'll give you an example. Now, when it does work, what, what I mean, okay, not that it doesn't always work, sorry, I should say, uh, this is not always possible. Now I'll show you why. So for example, suppose you have something like, I don't know, 2x plus 3 over, let's say, x plus 2 squared times x plus 1, for example. So that's equal to something plus Blah, 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 whatever, da, 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 okay. Suppose the first guy was x plus 2. You have a problem, okay? If you cover up x plus 2, then you have a number here. If you cover up x plus 2 here, all you do is you delete this, because you have two of them. But you can't make x equal to minus 2, because you have to divide by 0. So it's not possible here. It's possible here because you can cover up everything that's a problem. Why this works, I won't tell you. Now, we'll do a harder example now. Can I scroll down? So, let's try... Um, let me try one here. Um, yeah, here. We finished uh, something like value area and integration. Integration? Everything is this. No, no, more to do. So I'm trying to do an example. Look, wait, wait, look, 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 look. Another example here. A hard one. Um, we'll say. Yeah, okay. 2x cubed. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Minus 6x plus 22 over x squared minus 10x plus 25. Right, what are the factors here? 25. Yeah. 5 and. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't use cover up. No, you can't use cover up, but there's another problem. So if you try to write it, you think. So, okay, it's like this x minus 5, x minus 5. Mm. Okay? So you might say, ah, okay, well then the first one is a over x minus 5, and the second one is b over x minus 5. But that's wrong. 
because you can write this as c over x minus 5. And no way, no way could that be the same as that. It's not possible. So this is wrong. So this is what you do here. The, the reason this is a problem is because it repeats. That's why it's a problem. So the way you fix that is you say the first one is a over x minus 5. And the second one is over x minus 5 squared. And on the top, you can put b. Okay. Now wait, wait, wait. I don't want to do this just yet because I want to practice. Right now I want to practice how we can form this. Okay. Because believe it or not, you could use b or you could also use bx. So this seems a bit confusing. I have um, Stevens tree guidelines. Okay? So number one rule. The top must be um, the power, yeah. The, do you know this word degree? Okay. Degree means the power. So like for example, this guy is degree two and this one here is degree one. Okay, so my first rule is uh, degree of the top should equal degree of the bottom minus one. Okay. That's my first rule. Uh, second rule, uh, and if you if you, okay, no, no, no. we'll wait. Um, second rule is the number of constants. The number of constants on the top. Well, that could be less than or equal to. Number of constants on the top should equal the number of constants on the bottom minus 1. So for example, what I mean here is this is 2x plus 3. There are two constants here, 2 and 3. So on the top, there means there should be only one constant. Here, this is 2x, plus, 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. So there are three constants here. So on the top, uh, there needs to be two constants. You should have one less. Okay. And rule number three. Um, move. How can I put this? Um, run through repeated factors. So for the last rule, what I mean is, suppose you have something like x plus 1 cubed, okay? What you do is you change that into uh, something over x plus 1 plus something over x plus 1 squared plus something over x plus 1 cubed. That's what I mean when I say run through them. Now I'll explain with some examples. So uh, you, I think you should write my three guidelines down. What's the guideline? Uh, tip. tip. Recommendation. Secret. <laughs> Stephen. Do this one again as an example.
Okay? Yeah? So look, first we have x minus 5. So that's like 1x minus 5. Alright? How many numbers do I have here? 2. 2. So how many should I have on the top? 1. So that's fine. That's A. Okay. Now using rule 3, the next guy should be 1x minus 5 squared. Now, how many numbers do I have on the bottom? I still have 2. Still 2. Okay? No 2. Uh, what I mean... What I mean is how many unique numbers, like um, numbers I need to use. I need a better word. Do you know what I mean? Okay, like, okay. But I mean we can be his plan. Yeah, but, okay. Okay. How many numbers are in this phone number? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? But really, it's not really 10. It's really only 8. Because these do nothing to define. They're not part of the definition. Because you know that your phone number always starts with 08. Do you know, I'm kind of trying to say the same thing here, Ben. Really, there's only two numbers. I know I could expand, but also, Ben, I could change this into minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. Uh, we don't say there's five numbers. Okay. You, you get my idea? Yeah. Yeah. So, there's two numbers here. So, how many numbers do I need on the top? One. One number. Okay. But that could be B. However... Remember I said the degree at the top needs to be 1 minus the bottom. X. Yeah, so this thing here must be linear. Linear. Because this guy here is quadratic. Yeah? Must be linear. Must be linear. So wait. So that means it's Bx plus C. But, remember we said this? So it means one of these is 0. Which one is zero? C. Doesn't matter. You could make <laughs> you could make this one zero and use this. Or you could make this one zero and use this. You get the same answer. Okay. You get the same answer. So which one would be easier? C. Yeah, we could just we could just go with this. That would be easier, wouldn't it? Yeah? Could we use method three, the cover-up method? Could we? Uh, no. no, we can't. So, watch what happens. If I try to cover this up to get the A, then it means I only cover up one of these as a problem. Mm -hmm. Sorry, let me get rid of this BX here. Okay. Now, if I cover up this, that's a problem. Because I can't use x as 5. Mm -hmm. Now I could use, uh, Gao, I could use the method to get c. Because I could cover all of this up. And I could cover all of this up. And then I can get the c. Wait, minus a. Hmm? Minus 5 to get a. You could, you could do something like that to get a, yeah. But I think the easiest thing to do would just be use method 2. Method 2 here. Yeah? Now, um, what I'll do, so, uh, Gav, I want you to do this one. Ben, I want you to do this one. And Khalifa, you can choose either one, because uh, there's only two here. So, Gav, you're going to get me A and B as like this. Uh, and you're going to get me when it's like this. And we see if we get the same answer.
Got answers? You got that? No, no, let's see. So what did you get, Gao? Minus uh, B is minus 8 over 5. Minus 8 over 5X. And the A? X? You, you were doing... A, A. Yeah, 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 X, yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, and the A? A is uh, minus 22 over 5. Okay, and Ben, what did you get? Minus 6. And the other one? Minus eight. So we're saying that Gao's answer that this is equal to this and Ben's answer this is equal to this, they're the same. So what we're really saying is that this answer and this answer are the same. Now you might not believe that. <laughs> but let me show you. Okay, so let's pick some number for X. Let's just use... Um, Let's just use x equals what? 1. Okay? So, let's see. That's minus 22 over 5 over uh, minus 4. Minus 8 over 5 over 16. Yeah. Yes. 16. I'm saying that that's equal to minus 6 over minus 4 minus 8 over 16. Yeah? Yeah? Sure. Um, well, let's see. Let's see. So, this will be 22 over 20 minus 8 over 80. That's equal to 6 over 4 minus 8 over 16. Okay. So, this is over 80, isn't it? 80, 88 minus 8 is 80, isn't it? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Over 16, um, 32 minus 8, that's 16, sorry. That's right, isn't it? That's 16, 32 minus 8. No, that's wrong, is it? It's 24 minus 8. 20. 24 minus 8, thank you. 24 minus 8? Oh, that's 10. It's 16. So the same. The, oh, yeah. 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 So yes, I told you. It's unbelievable, but these two answers are the same thing. Okay. But is that a set for I have, like... Yes! Just like this? Yes! 22 over Yes! Or, yes. Yeah. Interesting, right? Now, this is getting this is getting this is getting hard. Uh, I'll give you five questions. I'll give you one easy, two medium, and two hard. Okay. So uh, one K. That's the easy one. Okay. Two mediums. Uh, M and N, and then two hard ones. Or an S. Yeah. Go ahead, Jeff. Okay, can you guys start on those? Good. 